Hello again and welcome, and uh, you join me with a Waze Cam Pan. Destroyed this one by applying possibly too high voltage on the input. So I have this running on the shed and I have a DC converter to power this all. And instead of being 5 volts, I think I put 24 volts up it. So uh, it no longer works, and if you look at, measure the input voltage, the input impedance, it's a dead short. So we'll have to take it apart. Now to get in it, there's these two screw holes that we have to break here. So I'll undo the screws and get in it and see what we've got. So this screw hole here has a bit of gunk in it, so I just need to cut that away with a bit of pliers. And then the screw's in there. So with them screws out, the back pulls down and lifts out. And we can see inside it. So we've got the speaker at the back here and the USB port. Got all the motors that do all the mechanical movements of it. And the camera board and... Wi-Fi board, you can see, a, oh there's a Wi-Fi antenna, Wi-Fi module, so yeah, a bit more work to get in this, so if you just stretch the bottom of this case, this board falls out the bottom and peels away, you see there's little lugs on the side of the plastic that locate in there, so if we stretch it, it all falls out, and what we're interested in is on the back of the board here, we've got ground and 5 volts, so if I measure across there, I reckon that'd be a short so on this board you had three voltage regulators, one here, one here, and one here. Now I've taken them off the board because I found that these were not producing an output. So you've got the inductor for the boost regu uh, buck regulators here, here and here. So these take the 5 volt USB power in and then they use the inductor and all the uh, passes and resistors. I mean I'll show you a diagram in a second. And they reduce the voltage down to the various levels. This is the only one that worked, this one. And that was given an output of about 1.8 volts, but it was very intermittent. So I've taken them off. I'm going to change them. And I've got them here, order from Farnell. And I'll just show you the data sheet for this device. And this is the uh, schematic for that uh, buck regulator. It's a SOT32 device, so it's quite small. And you've got an inductor and a, res a feedback resistor and all the various components. It's not a lot there, really, but... That is what I believe has failed. This is the device and the part number, and these are all the pins. So, and this is the actual TL, a TI part number. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to change this now, and we'll see if it works. So, these are the devices, and as you see, they're very small. And there's an SD card to give you a sense of scale. So, uh, need a really fine solder iron tip with this, and uh, <laughs> good eyes. Right. So, I've uh, changed them devices. There's one there. One there, and one there. So I've got it attached to the original um, bottom housing assembly. That's where the power goes in. And I'm about to plug it in now, and we'll see what happens. Hey, we have a light, so that means it must be working. Right, I'm going to rebuild it and uh, see if it still works. So it's now rebuilt, and if I power it up, if I power it up, we should... Hopefully, I can hear a click. Is it going to do anything? Anything at all? Uh, maybe. Oh. Well, that's good. Seems to be fixed. Right, I shall set this up and re-install uh, it on the network. So uh, thank you for that, and I'll uh, see you next time. And again, stay safe.